just want to touch on your big match coming up at East First West going down August 6th, set by legend arm wrestler Engen Terze. And Engen, man, when you just think he can't get any bigger and better, he does. And, uh, dude, every, every How one, every, every event. card is better. How exactly. is that every card? Like I said it on January for the February card. I said, like, this is the biggest card we have ever had. And those matches are amazing. And then number three and number four rolls up. You're like, he just outdid himself again. And I love it, man. And, and it's just, they're coming one after the other. There's no he, like he real time stop. delay or anything. It's he can is stop. the man with promoting bro. <laughs> so yeah. I, I, I want to touch on before we actually talk about your match. I just want to talk on a couple of other matches that really got my interest. And uh, I just want to get coach Ray's reaction on the first one being Todd Zilla versus Prudnik. What do you mm. think, bro? Prudnik has every possibility to beat Todd. If they meet somewhere near their both of their weights, I don't know what's the weight limit for that one is, but I think both of them has good chances of winning. Um, of course, I think if Prudnik wants to win, he will he will not go in a hook with him. So he will top roll. And Prudnik is explosive, fast, strong. He's way different than some of the guys that that uh, Todd been facing lately. Um, I want to see hook war. I don't want to see anything else. I'll be there and scream hook with from the audience. But uh, this is this is interesting. This is I, I think whatever Zoluyev did, Prudnik can do it better. I, I, I just know it. Like he can top roll better, faster, and be more efficient. He he looked really good right now, and uh, I'm I'm excited for that match because you know. Todd's the man. If you don't know who the man is, Todd is the man. And uh, that match, that match is awesome. Yeah, I can't wait yeah, for that. I really can't wait for that one. That, that's a good one. Uh, another one that I, I'm really excited about, and uh, I'm actually going to be uh, going uh, accompanying uh, him along for the, the trip, is uh, Jerry Cataret versus uh, Gennady. And I'll, I'll be making the trip to East versus West. It's going to be my first uh one to, to, to get to go to. So I'm very, very excited about this. And I'm very excited because this is uh, the first time Jerry's uh, competing since I'm in the sport. You know, I've been in three years and, uh, you know, I've been waiting for the day that Jerry comes back and uh, he's coming back big with this one, man. He's got a big title match going against Gennady, who we all know that just had in a very, very impressive win against Dave Chafee, which was pretty shocking to a lot of the arm wrestling community. But uh, what do you expect that day, bro? Do you expect uh, Jerry's going to come back and uh, finish like the way he was a legend and just keeps mowing through everybody? Or is he taking on a little too much too quick? I would say it's a little too much too quick. The long layoff makes a difference. Uh, styles make difference. Uh, Gennady is one of those guys who can pull every style. Like he, he tried top rolling Dave didn't work out. And then he started hooking. Turns out like, what the fuck? Um, with Jerry, um, if Dave, sorry, if Gennady tries to top roll him um, and he doesn't go through, he can always hook him. You know, he, he knows that for the pressers. They, they, they're very smart. And it all will come down to the grind. I think, I think Gennady has good chances of taking the center in a hook, in a top roll. But if if Big Daddy comes in the best shape, you know, and denies him that it's a long day being close to that pad where Jerry Stung is like, you know, and he's not <laughs> giving up and he's not stopping. But I'm picking Gennady as a big favorite because very active, very versatile. And, and Jerry's coming out of pretty much a long layoff. So I will always give an edge to someone who's been active versus someone who hasn't. Stylistically, I think Gennady can beat him. If, if it would be just a top roller, someone who doesn't have that option of center, of side pressure, then it's, uh, you know, then Jerry can can ruin your day. Then Jerry can ruin your day. Match set for uh, East versus West, number four. This one, uh, this one is exciting. This is a left-hand match, and uh, this one has been, uh, you know, supposed to happen a couple times before, but, uh, you know, Cody... Uh, hurt his arm at 
I'm hearing he's 100% back and he's ready. So we got uh, Cody Merritt, the top left hand of North America, and he's going to be uh, gripping up with Artem Morozov, which Artem has been on a tear, man. And uh, he's a young, up-and-coming dude. I think he's 24 years old. And, dude, what a specimen. So uh, what do you expect, bro? Is uh, Artem going to have something for Cody that day, or uh, is Cody just too far ahead of him? Well, we... I, honestly, we don't know. So again, one of, we, we will answer one of the big questions because I, I rate Morozov's left very highly. Like I think he's uh, very close to the absolutely best on the planet with left arm. Um, that top ten in no particular order, uh, but Cody's there as well. So you know, it, it could be an interesting match. You know, Artem is very hand dominated. He's just he tries to cop you. He he gets you in, and then, and I see him struggling to do that with Cody because of Cody's size. But I could be wrong. Again, one of those matches that it's so hard pre- to predict. But I, re- I really want to see it because that would make give us more insight on what's going on with left hand, not only in North America but in the world. You know, so I, I think it's an awesome match. Uh, Morozo looking like a Terminator in all of his matches. Um, yeah, with Lefty, he's just been on terror. I love Matt Mass's expression when he's like on the first one. They go, he turns to ref. He's like, what the fuck, man? <laughs> I got to say, man, uh, the only thing I had a question I have is, um, you know, 24 years old, are you really ready for Cody Merritt? It's just, it's really hard to believe that young but I mean, hmm. I've yeah. I've seen Artem in action, bro, and uh, that, that boy is no joke. So uh, definitely looking forward to that. It's going to give us a lot of intel on uh, where everybody lies with the left hand in the world stage. So uh, very excited about that match.